Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a recap of the Digital Rebar 4.8 feature set. As always, RackN is focused on enabling customer autonomy. Fundamentally, we do that by helping customers manage and tame the complexity of hybrid, distributed, multi-cloud, multi-vendor environments, using infrastructure pipelines as the core way to create standard, repeatable automation for any type of infrastructure, and that brings control, consistency, and choice to our customers' operational environments. In this release, we have some really significant enterprise features and then new resource management abstractions to enable multi-cloud, multi-infrastructure management at a much higher level. External Secrets allows you to use the existing places where you're storing sensitive information and bring them into Digital Rebar on demand. That keeps Digital Rebar from having to become a single source of truth, and it makes it easier to integrate in a seamless way. SAML is integrated into our existing single sign-on release to enable a new class of authentication and authorization services to be integrated cleanly into Digital Rebar, and these are necessary for more distributed web-first organizations. And we've really tuned the extreme scale performance. As a platform that is in production at global scale, we see customers reaching uh, incredible throughput and benchmarks on the system. And we're constantly tuning and improving Digital Rebar's performance at those scales. That's not just on the back end, but it's also in the UX and the usability of the system as more and more teams come into the Digital Rebar user set. And then the technical preview that we're including in this release for multi-cloud management via resource abstractions is truly groundbreaking. We've taken the infrastructure pipelines that have been built into Digital Rebar for multiple generations and extended it with higher level resource abstractions that allow customers to focus not at individual machines, but at higher levels of abstractions. So clusters can be managed with their own life cycles and actually control when systems and platforms get set up for the first time really creating life cycles for something like a Kubernetes or a vCenter cluster where the cluster has its own life cycle separate from the resources that have been assigned to it. This is another piece of a broader story of creating abstractions for the resources themselves. And we've added resource brokers as a way to create management abstractions that allow operational teams to focus on building good Terraform or uh, cloud interfaces or pools of resources in bare metal environments. And the resource brokers allows that to be a new abstraction point where you can literally create systems that have a clear delineation between who owns and who manages the infrastructure and the cluster and consumer levels of that abstraction. And finally, we've added a very important concept called work orders that allow the systems and the components of the systems to switch from a workflow mode where they're being set up and built to a running mode where you can make ad hoc or scheduled requests to systems that don't change the configuration. This is an essential component to day two operations and really extends Digital Rebar's reach into an ongoing day-to-day -day management platform. I hope this quick summary has been helpful for you. There are some really remarkable capabilities built into Digital Rebar, both in this release and in previous releases. We have a lot of videos that we're surfacing showing how these work and how you can extend them because fundamentally infrastructure pipelines, while they're standardized, they're about adapting to your infrastructure needs. Check out the details at rackn.com, and thank you.